What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're in Lookout Landing. We were just here to do a battery upgrade, which we, now we've got a little over three, or wait, no, just under three. And um, there's, I just was checking up in the little town here and noticed that there's actually Rito flying above Lookout Landing now. They never seem to land, so I'm not really sure what they're doing here. And then I also noticed this flag here. Was that here before we did the Rito Village quest? Because I think it wasn't, because that is the Rito symbol there, which makes me wonder as we do more and more of these main quests, if we'll have more and more representation here of the regions. And then the other thing, somebody in the comments mentioned after we did the quest to get my hood put down on this outfit, somebody is like, well, you know, because you can't, it's not toggleable, so I can't put it up and down. I'd have to go talk to CC every time. But what if we just bought another hood, okay? And then you sort of have a workaround for the hood being toggleable, because now, as you can see, we've got one in the inventory that is down and one in the inventory that is up. And so I guess if you wanted an option to have it up or down, that would be your way to do it, would be to just get two hoods. So that's actually like a genius idea. Uh, so yeah, thank you for leaving that in the comments. Definitely gonna do that. And it's only 70 rupees, so why not? Um, what was the other thing? Oh, um, Carson. Oh. Great job out there. Are you using the mini stable? You made building that roof look like a breeze. I was struggling with it, but you, you just pulled it off in no time. It's real inspiring. I should get to work improving my carpentry too. All right, work at Lookout Landing is nearly wrapped up, which also means I'm out of work. You wouldn't know anybody who needs a carpenter, would you? Actually, yes, the Rito Bridge. This is part of a side quest that you can do after you finish the Wind Temple. They need someone to rebuild their bridge, huh? Sounds easy enough. I heard it fell apart when that blizzard struck Rito Village. But if they're looking to have it fixed, that strange weather must have died down, eh? Ah. Well then, no time to gab. I'll have to I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time, son and done. Okay, so sweet. Rito bri Rito rope bridge. The skilled carpenter at Lookout Landing was Carson. You explained the situation to him and he enthusiastically agreed to help and hurried off to the job site. Now we have to report to Wanell and Gassane. Okay. Now, supposedly, if you talk to Pura, so remember we got this well-worn headband? You guys were saying that if you talk to Pura while wearing this thing, she'll comment on it. Yes. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. Okay. We need to investigate. Check it. Keep me posted. By the way, isn't that the hairband the princess had? It's a classic look for you. So, I don't know if she's trying to say that it was Zelda's hairband. Because Zelda never wore a hairband. Interesting. I don't really know what that means, but that's an interesting reaction. Oh, you know what? So the other thing that we I want to do while we're here is let's go to the adventure log. I think it's side adventures. No, must be side quests. A new champion's tunic. Since we're right here, let's just go get it because it looks awesome and I want it. So where exactly is the tower? platform. Why am I always losing this thing? Oh, here it is. Yeah, you can easily get the champion's tunic in this game, like, pretty much immediately. You you don't need anything special. You just need stamina food or a uh, stamina upgrade. Actually, let's put on the glide suit. And we're going straight for the throne room. Do I have Tulin turned off? Yeah, sometimes sometimes I just don't like them in my field of view, so I, like, dismiss them. Or him, whatever. Eventually it'll be them. But yeah, the champion's tunic. 
since Zelda wrote it down in her diary and we read her diary, we know exactly where to go. Well, this is also kind of cool too, because you can do some looting and you, you won't run into any enemies while you're here either. Like, if you do it this way. You can just like sneak right in, get your loot and be on your way and nobody will be the wiser. I just think it's a bit confusing because she said in her diary that Link's clothes were looking worn. And so she she put in an order for the new tunic and then she hid it here and she was going to surprise him with it. But but he was already wearing the new tunic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're we're looting while we're here. First things first. The dusk bow. Okay. And then Whoa, there's a, a royal guards bow right here. Or a royal bow. So we can definitely get rid of stuff here. Let's drop that. Take that. And then where is the actual front door to this place? Right here. So of course this is where you went in Breath of the Wild to fight the Calamity Ganon. But now it's just, just empty. No enemies, no nothing, but there's a bunch of loot. Let's see. You gotta kind of go around the room a little bit and find the loot. No, I know there's like some some spears and swords and stuff around here. Okay, so well, here's the throne. And then, of course, you've got these two torches. And the clue in Zelda's diary was he'll never suspect that the secret is in the torches. So just light these bad boys. <laughs> And then it opens up this compartment. And here we go. And that's all there is to it. So worn by those in good standing with Hyrule Royalty has been reworked with the latest improvements such as a new shoulder guard. And that's really all there is to getting that. Super easy if you wanted to do it early game. And then, of course, uh, now we have options for his hair. We could do hair down. We could just do back in a hair tie. Or we could do this look, which is from, like, the trailers. I like that one, personally. And now we look official. But, yeah, like, wasn't he... Wasn't he wearing this before the calamity? Or sorry, not the calamity. Before the upheaval. And then he got like whisked away. And somehow now it's hidden here. I guess the only explanation would be is if the one that he was wearing in that cutscene was getting worn. And so Zelda's like, I'll just make him another one exactly like the one he's wearing. And maybe that's what happened? I don't know. I don't really love this Royal Guard stuff because it the durability on it is not very high. It even says in the description, low durability. So I'm not sure that I necessarily want to drop any weapons that I have just to pick up this stuff. Granted, fusing something strong to it does kind of it does help the durability situation out. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything I could part with? Like, we could part with this. I haven't used that in forever. But I think there's, um... Yeah, a chest right here. There's a, there's a few loot spots in here. And then, of course, like, if you're brave, you could go... Venture outside of the Sanctum area. But I don't know if we're ready for that. All right, well, I pretty much got what I wanted. Is this a... Oh, it's an actual window. 
I was expecting to just be able to jump out of it. Okay. Well, I think the main focus here, now that we did a little... Uh, looking around, checking out Lookout Landing and the castle. Also, why do they make the music so scary in the castle? I feel like in Breath of the Wild, the music was very, like, adventurous. It made you feel like you're going to just walk right into that castle and you're going to take what's yours. You're going to fight the calamity and bring peace back to Hyrule. Like, it was very, um, I don't know, it just made you feel brave. But this music makes me feel scared, to be honest. Some Lazalfos and stuff down there. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Actually, whoops. What we're going to do today is head over to... Let me think about this. Was there any reason I wanted to go back to Kakariko Village? I don't think so. I think where we want to go is right here because I do want to hit up some stables. Let's go here because somebody in the comments mentioned that I missed a an, a piece of armor there. And that's pretty much on the way. We're going to do a couple of stables so we can hopefully get a piece of that froggy armor from... Oh, see, now that. Aha. What should we drop for this, though? I guess let me drop this since it's kind of already almost broken anyways. Korok. Yeah. Only eight seeds? Oh my word. Soldier's spear. I wonder how strong that is. I currently have this spear and this spear, which it says it's weaker than this one, but it probably has better durability. I don't know. Whatever, I guess. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, yeah. What we need to do this episode is hit up a couple of stables and on our... We'll hit up the stables on the way up to the Akala region where we're going to go and do the quest for the travel medallion for Robbie. And while we're up there, I want to do some uh, minor exploring where you can check on uh, Terrytown. We haven't been to Terrytown yet, and I'm really excited to see what's changed at Terrytown. And probably see Hudson, I would assume, as well. And then... Who knows what, we'll, what else we'll get up to while we're out there. And then, of course, we'll go to the ancient tech lab... And then most likely we'll go back to Tino Village and probably after that head toward the next main quest, which is going to be Goron City. Zonite looks a lot like Luminous Stones, doesn't it? It's like zero Zonite in all this. Why? Well, let's at least get the Luminous Stones. Oh, is this the cave where we fought that stone talus? <laughs> By the way, that reminds me. And I don't remember which episode it was now, but there was a, an episode just, just recently that I did where I was following those stone, those little stone statues that led me to, I want to say it was the barbarian armor. Uh... And I somehow read, every single time I read it too, I somehow read it as stone taluses, not stone statues. And so the whole time I was like looking for stone taluses when really it was just telling me to follow the stone statues. Yeah, whoops. Um, yeah, this is definitely where we fought that stone talus. Which I would do again. I really like the little hearts that they drop. Alright, here we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this will be super easy. 
especially with the weapons and stuff that we have now. All right, he's gonna be stunned. Okay, whoops, I fell. He's probably gonna shake me off. But let's see if we can get a few more hits in before he does that. Oh, I don't think we'll be able to get him before he shakes me off. Nope. But I am gonna heal. I don't know if the Luminous Stalluses can one-hit you, but just in case, they can't. I know the rare Taluses can. At least with the number of hearts that I have, they can. Uh, shoot. Eesh. That was so close. I'll just wait for him to fall. There we go. Now let's grab the loot. And let's fuse this to... How about we fuse it to this? That should increase its durability, I would assume. How come these... I guess this isn't zonite ore as so much as it's just luminous stone ore? I don't know. Oh, anyways, the real reason that we're in here is the armor. I guess I must have been in here before I knew that these little arrows meant that there's armor in these caves. Let's get a sticky lizard for the collection. There's a shrine somewhere outside, which is why this thing is going off. But I find it so much less annoying than the shrine indicator in Breath of the Wild. It's very subtle. Here we go. This is probably where the armor is going to be. I can't believe I almost missed this. Yeah, I guess this is just a great big luminous stone deposit, but it looks just like the zonite deposits that you can find down in the depths. Check it out. Give me that. Another piece of the barbarian armor. So now we have two. That's exciting. What do I want to... Let's put back on... Yeah, I mean, we just went all the way to the castle to get the champion's tunic. Let's do it. I think this is my favorite look, honestly. Okay, I think... Wait, did we get the bubble frog out of here? Yeah. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Now, let's head off toward... There's a stable right here that we should check in on. The wetland stable and see if... What's his name? Um, Pin is going to be there. And then up in the Ocular region, there are two stables there. So I think if we do all three of these, uh, hopefully we can get to all three of them today, then we should get one piece of that froggy armor. Okay. So, should we put a marker down on this thing just so I sort of know where I'm going? There's so many uh, Aracudas, which actually, I need a picture of those for, uh, what's his name? Sage over at the Kochi Dai shop. And now look at this, this is kind of a great opportunity. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but I really like fighting stone taluses. Uh, I can't reach that one. I just, they're just so fun. And they're easy, and I mean, look at how quickly this one's going down. Oh, let me get it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wasn't that amazing? 
took this base out. Okay. And then, uh, now we have another heart here. So what should we fuse this one to? How about, since these make such good, like, ore farming weapons, I think I'm just going to do it to the Claymore. <laughs> I don't really use two-handed weapons in combat a lot, so they're usually really just in my inventory so that I can mine for ore. Where did that Aracuda go? I thought I saw one flying over here. Uh, I think it's too far for a picture. I'm just really curious to see what the, um, what the fabric, paraglider fabric will look like from Sage, since all of his other ones have been so interesting. Which, which right now, we're using the Lionel paraglider fabric, which I think it looks so cool. Like, two Lionels clashing swords together, I think that's so cool. Another campfire right over here. Could be like a little... Well, it could be anything, I guess. It could be an enemy camp. I don't think it's a Korok, because aren't there... I don't even know if they're... If they show their smoke signal until you speak with the one who's lost. But I think that their smoke signals either way are like a greenish color. All these fallen sky islands out here. It just makes the landscape feel so different. Where are we? Okay, so not exactly. I'm pretty sure that there used to be a cave over here. I would be curious to see if there if there still is. It used to be kind of hidden inside of like a a skull. There's like a big skull right on the lake. Or I, I don't know if you call that a river, maybe. Horses! Hey, that one looks interesting. The color. Oh, um, I guess my stable is that way. Oh, it looked like one of them had red hair, but maybe not. But, eh, until I find where they have, stop that. Until I find where they have, like, the strongest horses, I probably won't get another one. Not today. Choo-choos. We need to get to the stable. And talk to Pen. Isn't this the very first stable that I went to? I've... I feel like it is. There's Pen. Could be a huge story. Hey partner, how you doing? Actually, let's just get to it. You're always an what? You're always an, on an even keel. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed this stable's farm tools. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times, so I gotta think. Only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Pin, hold on. You've, got ahead, you've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here, watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. The missing farm tools. So, let's see if we've checked in here. Uh, I actually don't want to do anything. Okay. I wonder... I guess I don't know. I don't know what that big old fire is but that guy he's right down here on this ear and he thinks that princess zelda stole some tools i mean really why 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 what 
Sorry, I'm a little busy. You saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I didn't want this to get out because I don't want people to think I'm b saying bad things about Princess Zelda, but she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Oh. That was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Floret Sandbar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. Uh. I take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Ah. So, uh, I know we could clear up this mess if someone could take me down river to the Floret Sandbar on the raft. Now the Floret Sandbar used to be where the flower blight Ganon lady was. Let's just go ahead and we'll take him. Let's put me a steering wheel. And then he's got a couple of fans over here. Is that a battery? Oh, maybe he's got a fan and a battery. Put that there and then... He's just got, like, everything you would need to make the perfect raft right here. Which way does this go? I think it goes like this. Oh, here. Let's put that up here. All right. Hop in, my friend. I'll take you. You mean that, fella? You'll take me to the floor at Sandbar? Thanks. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. And there he's got, he's got a little front row seat there. Calm down, we're just cutting the rope. So, let's see. This should be just a nice, relaxing ride down, down the river, right? Careful at the river bend. When I have a steering wheel, it can't be that hard. Yeah, this is, this is just the most relaxing. This is like the, um... This reminds me of, like, a lazy river ride past those ruins. I remember going to Disneyland as a kid, and there's this ride that you could take. It's like a jungle safari something or other where you kind of ride in this little boat. And, like, you're, you're actually on a boat in the water. And then, of course, there's, like, all these fake animals and stuff that will appear while you're on your ride. It's straight down river. But that's what this reminds me of. I haven't been at Disneyland in so long. Check that tower out. Or not tower, uh, shrine. Stop near the dock. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, if you remember, if in... I'm just going to call it Zelda's house because that's what everybody in Hitino Village is calling it. In Zelda's house, she did have a picture of the flower lady on the floor at Sandbar. So this kind of makes sense. I've, I'm starting to feel like all the pictures in her house probably have to do with stuff that she did out in the world while she was helping rebuild Hyrule. Like her golden horse was there. Oh. And then now... We're visiting this location where she supposedly took some farming tools ah. over here. You did a great job getting us here. Where'd you learn to handle a raft like that? I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Ah. Huh, up in the sky, there's something, someone coming at us. Probably gonna be Pen, I'd assume. There he is. Finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you chased down our story, so I flew right on down to help. But, uh, where are we? Uh. There she is! Hey! What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants, all of them precious. You'd better watch out. You'll rue the day you trample on any of them. She hasn't changed. <laughs> Whoa. Who's this? Ever met her before, partner? Uh. S sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for the farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. Well, I promise we won't pick any flowers. Huh? Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them. So, wait a minute. Farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Huh. 
That's right. Some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of the special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, but the princess, well, they say she went missing, and all our hard work was ruined when... Oh, darn, these ruins. Oh, these darn ruins crashed down. They've been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to make to try to make it all nice again. Uh. Really? That's what happened? Now I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable's tools back. Ah. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. I didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Hmm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds like our princess... Uh, t sounds like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh, I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Uh, sure, glad to, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also... Nope, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? Uh, you said you'll help. I accept your offer. Uh, what? I didn't say that. Well, close enough, so what if you don't say what you really think? I'll hold- I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go on and work that soil like you said? I'll tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah. Uh, I can't take- talk my way out of this one, and she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. It seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. Ah. You can go. I'll stay here. What else is, have I got to do, right? Okay, so Flower Blight Ganon oh. is still up to her old ways, but she's working with Zelda to make a plant sanctuary. That's interesting. Well, it seems like we got those two facts. The, the facts... Wait, what? Seems like we got those facts we wanted, and those two works it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. Mm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. 50 whole rupees. Oh, and there's also this. The Lucky Clover Gazette Fabric. So Hatino's dye shop in Nakluta has started up a new service. It's something to do with fabrics. I know, I know. I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. It'd be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. Any, It's always great working with you, partner. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, Bye. partner. <laughs> Ben is funny. I like him. The missing farm tools. So let's check out this garden. I have to hurry. Wow. Now then, there's no time to rest. I need to restore Hyrule's best garden as soon as possible so it's ready for when the princess returns. So, let me just... Oh, okay, so she is going to get me. Ouch, that hurts. What are you doing? That's what the flowers you just ruined would be wailing if they could wail. So please don't disturb the best flower bed in Hyrule. I wonder if she would go off on Link if you mess with her again. Like, in Breath of the Wild, she would really, like, wreck you. Let's test it. Maybe I'll... Maybe it'll work out. Oh, they have a fountain here. That's new. What if I step on these? No. Maybe it's only the ones that she's working on. Ah? We told you already that hurts. What if we... What would we do if our petals got torn off? We are beautiful living things who never hurt anybody in this world. What kind of thoughtless monster would stomp all over us? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could ah. scream. So listen to them and don't do such awful things. <laughs> I feel like you could just keep going until something happens or until the dialogue kind of goes back into a circle. For some reason it does. Oh, wait about these. 
So this looks like it maybe used to be a flower bed and they were growing silent princess. Maybe this was one too. Let's see if she murders me. Ah? We've told you time and time again how painful that is. All the world loves a flower. You know, flowers are beautiful, colorful, and have a pleasant scent. It's no surprise they were so cherished, but it's surprising that you would go out of your way to hurt us. Huh? Do you think that makes you tough, hurting poor, innocent, defenseless things? So scary. Whatever, just don't come near us again. Got it? That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could huh? scream. So, hmm. She's giving us four chances. I just want to see if she'll go crazy again. Ah? Huh? We told you time and time again. Okay, so now uh -huh. we're now we're reusing dialogue. Uh -huh. So maybe she doesn't actually go crazy on you. She just gets really upset. Okay, well now we know. That's it. My flower trampling days are over. I'll just go ahead and pick the rest of the stuff they've got growing here. Help myself to the herb garden. And then let's check the map. So I'm at the Floret Sand Bar and I want to go this way and then around this way. So shall we... And let's cross this river here and then just go up. Okay, so I went ahead and got Medley out. We'll see how long it lasts, but there is a shrine indicator going off somewhere back in this direction. Now, if I remember correctly, isn't this where the bear cave used to be? Yeah. And there's a big rock in the middle here now, which this didn't used to be here. And I think I see a Korok up here. These are a uh, little, little hard to catch. I can't really see where it's going. Grab. There we go. All right. Add that to our collection. So it almost seems like the shrine is in this cave, but I don't know. Let's go in and see. The Crenal Peak Cave. Oh, there's an enemy camp in here. Ooh, a big guy. Let's do this. I like to hit these guys with these. Did we get... We've got all but one. This is good. And then they'll just fight each other, which is awesome. Actually, let's use these. I have like a hundred of these. Why aren't you guys fighting? There we go. <laughs> I just find it so entertaining to watch them do this. Then I can loot while they fight. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to hit him. Perfect. Now all we have to work with is this guy. I'll just keep going at him. I should really fuse something to this spear. Spiked Boko Shield. Oh, look at all those fangs. And then we got the Boss Bacoblin. What is that? The Boss Bacoblin Horn. Okay, so let's go see what's in this cave. It doesn't seem like there's going to be armor, but you never know. Bombflowers times five. And we've got some ore. I still need to figure out what the opal does. Check it out. Prime opportunity to use this. These stone talus hearts make, like, amazing mining tools. Give me the bright bloom. 
Oh, see? I thought that... Mm, man. I thought that adding the stone talus heart to the end of that thing would make its durability last a little bit longer, but... That's what I mean. Those... The, is it the Royal Guard set? There's, like... The durability is just horrible. Let's do this. This is, like, the thickest rock wall ever. Oh my gosh. We've hit a wall. Almost makes me want to just throw some bombs in here. Here we go. Made it through. But we're not done with the cave. Are there any more? Yeah, give me another one of these. Although, I guess I don't really have anything to fuse to it. I'm just gonna do this. Because whatever. There's enemies in here still. My rock sledge. Okay, let's just use some bombs. I've got 50 bombs. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Let's take this guy out. I do find it a little bit annoying sometimes how you can be trying to just like pick up loot, but you activate that. Exactly. Exactly that. Is that the exit? I'm here, little lizard. Where are we? So we went all the way through that mountain. Interesting, but there was another path, so I just want to make sure that we don't miss anything good, you know? Plus, the shrine indicator is still going off, so I'm not sure if the shrine is down here or up above us. Okay. Another one. My goodness. These cave systems are just huge. All right, that seems to work fairly well. So I, I'm thinking, wait, have I been this way? Yeah, okay, so I, I don't know. I think we're good to leave, though. I feel like we went through all of the tunnels and stuff. I just kind of wonder where that shrine is. Nearby, down below. So it is in there somewhere. Gosh darn it. No, guys. We're not after you. All right, back in. Gotta find that shrine. Mm, I don't know that I've seen a shrine down in one of these caves yet. Or actually, did we when we were doing that one for... Uh, Robbie? So it's clearly... I think it's off to the left somewhere. So maybe I need to break through all this. Jeez. 
There it is. Oh, right. We found it. What is this thing doing down here? The Jojon Shrine. <laughs> See how much longer this Claymore has lasted from the other one? Although I say that and it just immediately it pops up that it's damaged. Okay, let's do the shrine. Oh no, I'm naked. Naked and toolless. The shrine imprisons and impurifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden. They pretty much taken Eventide Island and uh, made a bunch of individual little shrines out of the, the idea. Let's see. What are we? We just need to take the constructs out. All right. Easy enough. Goodbye. Whoa. There's more down there. He's got a bow. And what's with all the... What's with all this? Oh! I don't have a bow. Well, it's gonna face me because it thinks I'm an enemy. Let's grab these. I want to turn it off. There. There. Now, if I could use Ultra Hand, grab this. Now I can fuse that to my shield. Okay. Now, what are these? Are these fire barrels? <laughs> we didn't hit anybody, but that's fine. Where are you? There we go. There must be a lot more constructs around here somewhere. Okay, there went my spear. He dropped his weapons, so this is good. Construct horn, and now we got some arrows. But I don't have a bow? Here's a bow, and some bomb flowers. But where are the rest of the constructs? I'll take that. And I guess we could probably just ascend up to the top again. So that's the entrance. Where else? Oh, can we go up? No. Oh gosh, somebody's targeted me. They want you to use, like, pretty much all of your abilities, so this is fun. Ooh! Got another bow. And there's the rest of them. I like the flame emitter on the shield. It just stuns them immediately. What else do we have here? Grab his stuff. Why did he drop a little Zonite sword? That was all of them. I wish it would let me pick the loot up before it does this because you don't get the opportunity. It, it'll disappear. Bummer. I just really want the charges. I don't know if there was a chest in here or not. 
I don't see one. Okay, let's go. Oh, here's the chest. A magic rod. All right, now we can safely get out of this cave. Knowing that we did the bubble frog and the shrine. I still have yet to find a chasm in a cave because that diary in, oh gosh, the diary in that Yiga hideout said that there's chasms in caves. I'm just gonna loot their treasure and then leave. A bomb flower. Okay, let's get out of here. I just wanna go back down here and get my horse. Now let's be on our way up to the Aqua region. So let me just get back out to the road. I want to say that I heard there's 150 shrines in this game, as opposed to the 120 that there were in Breath of the Wild. And I feel like we've barely done any, so we need to get a move on. So we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna take a right and then head off into the Aqua area. There's an Aracuda. Should we get a picture? For Sage? Doesn't have to be great. Okay, let's go. No enemy camps today. Now that over there, I think, is the woodland stable. We'll go there once we're ready to go up into the Goron city area. Okay, here's the Korok. Should we just do it? Because I really, I need to start doing these. My friends and I got separated. Uh, that looks a little far. Yeah. I'm so tired I can't move. Well, let's see what kind of building materials they have. They're giving us the means to make a raft. But no fans, eh? And like, what I could do too is I don't have to use this stuff. Um. Here, you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make a hover bike, I think. Take out that and those and... Oops. And then we'll just do some auto build. Make my little hover bike. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, and then this guy, you can just like ride on the back. This might wreck the battery with his weight, but we did upgrade our, our... Is he, is, what are you doing? I wonder if he's, if his, if the weight distribution is not gonna work. No, it'll work. We'll be fine. Uh-oh, we're under attack. An aerial Im Im enemy. There's another big chasm. And a shrine nearby? Okay. That wasn't so bad. Especially just pulling out the hover bike like that. That actually was not bad at all. I definitely need to do more of those. Now the question is, do I go back and get medley and do we ride? Or do we use... A new and improved method of transportation in this game. We're gonna be going... We're gonna be going far. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I almost feel sort of inclined just to take medley. 
because it's going to be a long journey and the battery situation. Okay, yeah, I'm decided. Medley it is. She's probably happy to know that I would still choose her over a Zonai hover bike. If only I had wings. Wonder where he's going. A bright eyed crab. Okay, off we go. Should we get we should get all the crabs, I think. Gimme. Now, we're really close to the Zora's Domain area as well. This is where the Zora Tower is? Is that what it was called? I don't know, but we'd be right up there. It's so weird to see some of these locations now with the towers gone. They just don't look the same at all. I don't want to get too far away from Medley. Okay, let's go. A Goron! Let's see what he's doing. Sticky, goopy gunk. Ugh. I was just thinking it'd be nice to talk to someone. I'm glad you said something. I hear things are real bad and in Lanera to the east. They've got sticky black globs falling down from the sky. Imagine that. I think they're calling it sludge. Gross. You'd better wash anything like that off in a hot spring. Oh, wait. I guess there aren't any hot springs in the Nehru, huh? I wish I could share some of Eldon's with him. <laughs> Riga is his name. Oh, our favorite. Let's see what we can do for Addison. Let me... Give me a big plank. Put that there. It's just that like he's on a hill again. Why does he do this? What is this? Oh, this is new. So he does have two of these. But why? Why do they make them so that these don't fit? Let me try this. Well, no, because... That's the same thing. Well... What... Are we gonna do? Let me just see which way it falls if I tell him to let go. So it just goes straight forward. Sometimes I feel like that's a little helpful so that you kind of know where you need to brace. All right, well, let's do this. I think let's try to get this flat. So I'm gonna put a couple of, here, oh here, this is perfect. Put this down here, put this on top. Glue it down, and now if we place it under here, it's pretty much like a flat-ish platform. And then we can use some kind of a system. Let's see. Here's what I think. Let's drop that there. Let's glue. Something right there. Hmm, wait, is this gonna work? Maybe. Give me another beam. And then let's glue this one right. Ooh, that would kind of be nice, I guess, if those were stuck together. Nope, never mind. Not like that. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Glue this here, and then let's try. No. 
I want to glue it to the, glue it to the posts. Well, the poor donkey is freaking out. Probably my fault. Let's see what happens. Hey, it worked. The president's standing. That was brilliant. Okay. He's always so happy when it works, too. With your help, the President Hudson is now standing, so give me my rewards. Some chili veggie rice balls and sleepover tickets. Okay. Well, let's get uh, moving. So that way is towards Zora's, dom Zora's do domain. And then the Maw of Death Mountain. Are we on the right road? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because you can. there's another fork in the road that goes that way, I think. So let's go this way. And this is all uncharted territory now. We haven't been out here at all. So that's exciting. I was wondering what that little shed looking thing was for and there's death mountain with no lava so i wonder if it'll be easier to like explore that area if it won't be so hot we've got a tower up ahead some falling rocks i kind of wonder if we should go get the tower That would be... I think that looks like it would be more for the Zor's Domain area. And we're not headed there yet. Let's wait and do the one that's more up in the Akala region. So yeah, if you take a turn right here, you'll head off in the Akala region. We haven't been here in forever. It's going to be so fun to see Terrytown. So they've got a shrine down there, the stable, and then, oh, look at that. That's the Oculus Citadel ruins. With no tower, it looks so much like, almost looks like less impressive because it doesn't seem so big and tall anymore all of a sudden. Now let's head off this way because I know that there's a stable over here and we can do another one of these quests. <laughs> We've got two more to do before we... Gosh, there's a lot of enemies here. Let's use this roasted bass spear. I'm not gonna... Oh my gosh, we got hit. I'm not gonna fight these guys. But... Monster forces? Wait, is there a... Hold on. Why do they have a life bar like that? Oh my gosh, we gotta go. Like, it almost seems... Huh. It almost seems to me like there should be... Mm, there should be some Hylians fighting these guys. Oh my gosh. But I didn't see anybody out there. Well, that didn't heal me? What the heck? Yeah, I don't see... I don't see any highlands. Watch out, beetle. The South Oculus Stable. Okay. What are you doing here? Come on, break already. I found this ore deposit, so I'm gonna smash it and get the gems inside. My hands are a little sweaty, so my grip's not as firm as usual. Otherwise, I'd have busted it by now. What's with that look? You don't think I can do it? 
Fine, then let's make it interesting. If you can break this ore deposit in one strike, I'll give you all the gems that come out, so step up if you've got the guts. I'm pretty confident in my skills, but with my sword, I can't even make a dent. There's no way no a nobody like you can break it in one strike. Okay, well, now you've done it. A nobody like me? Now what? Oh, come on, how? I was joking when I said to break it in one go. I came up short because I was only using my arm muscles, but you, you used your brain muscles. Now all I can do is admit that you won. Congratulations, that was the perfect strike. The gems are yours like we agreed. All right, thank you. Rude. And my hammer broke. But it was worth it. So, shouldn't Pen be around here somewhere? Let's get our stable points. Yeah. Oh. Next reward and two points. Oh. Yeah, I don't want anything. That's all I wanted. Oh. Ooh, he said something about the horse god. I should really read what they say. Okay, here's Pen. Yeah. Look at you, partner, coming all the way out here to track down leads. You remind me of me. So how about it? Tell me you've got something we can work with. No? Well, I've got nothing either. Not a chirp, not a warble. Even if I strain the old ear holes. No, sir, not the slightest peep. Mm. So what to do when our leads go quiet and our luck runs out? I suppose we've got one last resort. A prophecy. A prophecy? Ah. Oh, yes, it's come to that. Good thing there's one heck of a cuckoo around here. That, uh, speaks prophecy. I mean, we know it's hard to believe, but you've got to wonder. Oh. Look at that tree there, the one up on that hill. They say folks are lining up to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to make their fortunes told. I know what you're thinking. Seasoned reporter like me hoping to get a lead from actual poultry? Well, hear me out. Those that flock up there for their fortunes, they might know the real story here. Interview them. All right. The all clucking cuckoo. There's a well. But we gotta check out this prophecy telling chicken. When's it my turn? Welcome to the South Akala Stable Burr. Do you like horses? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horses. I'm practicing so I can be a horsey when I grow up. Oh. Hey, hey, mister, did you come to hear the all clucking cuckoo's prophecies? I came to ask if I'm going to be a horsey when I grow up, but since the all clucking cuckoo is so popular, the wait is super long. Gleema in Breath of the Wild, she was obsessed with bugs, particularly dragonflies. Oh. Hey there, fellas. So checking out my fancy duds? I bet. Stylish, right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open oh. now. I was heading for Terrytown since I'd heard celebrity designer Cece was influenced by someone there. But when I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if the the if it's the real deal. Oh. And buddy, it's real as can be. Here's the prophecy I got. On a remote island to the northeast, thou wilt find great fortune. Terrytown will have to wait. I have an island to go to. I just hope great fortune means a treasure trove of clothes. My true love? Should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again... Are you here for a prophecy from the all clucking cuckoo? Get ready for your, your life to change. They say the cuckoo's words always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions that I need to sort out which to ask. Really, you'd be doing me a favor. Go ahead. All right, let's talk to this chicken. Does it say? It just says Uko. <laughs> Do we want to? No, I think I like the old one better. I thought it would like be a special chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Thy name. What is thy name? Oh, I sense it. You are Link. And you're searching for someone. Ah, uh, yes, Princess Zelda. I'm amazed. I know all. And what I know is that thou wilt face trials that will reveal much to you. So will thou take these trials? I'll try it very well. The first trial is... Get to the top of that stable head within the time limit. Oh my gosh. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Click, click. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there some kind of a trick I should know about here? I can't use Tulin. Or wait, did I turn Tulin off? No. Tulin? This is like when I really need you. 
Um, here's what we're gonna do. Let's do this. Stop, stop, stop. Do I have a rocket? Let me fuse a rocket to one of my shields. So we can get up here quick. Oh, whoop. Jeez. I think I canceled it. I don't know what I did. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I like that the timer stops while you ascend. That's useful. But am I up there? I'm stuck. Oh my gosh. Kill me now. Okay, can I just try it again? Uh, geez. Time's up. Come back. We failed. I'm a failure. What's wrong? Thou won't get any closer to what thou ultimately seeketh that way. How about it? Try again. Ugh. Ready yourself. And now why all of a sudden Tulin is just like not available? I guess because they're they're never usually available in like cities and populated areas. But let's just I'm gonna try that again. Now let's just do it like this. Okay. I guess I must have just canceled it last time or something. And then it wouldn't let me pull out my paraglider again until I was pretty much all the way back on the ground. Good job with the trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen. So thou, yes thou, ready to face the next trial. Only if thou overcome it, will thou find what thou seeketh. Okay, one more. Bring three logs here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here. Any of them will do the job. Okay. Three logs. Back up the hill. I mean, that should be easy, right? There's three trees right here. Just give me a sword. Let's chop them down, and then I'm gonna glue them together. Grab this one. Mm. At least he gives you a lot of time for this one. And then glue that to this. And then just take the whole bundle back up the road, which... Yeah, I mean, I've got like 50 seconds, so this is fine. We'll just... I guess we'll just carry him. This is the weirdest little thing. All of these little stable crests are actually like really fun. You finished. We did it. So, are you tired yet or what? You've got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive, so trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. A talking cuckoo? Ridiculous. Now that you're worn out, we've got you right where we want you. Everyone, get him and finish the job. <laughs> no way. This is the most elaborate they've ever been. Okay, got one. Ah. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Where's my... Start by type. I just need these herbs. <sighs> Come on. I actually find it to be much easier when they run like this than you can stun them. Oh, but I missed that guy. <gasps> oh, come on. Oh, I missed. Missed the flurry or the parry. <laughs> My word? That has got to be the most elaborate that they've ever tried. Well, I'll let you off. We'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. <laughs> and this is funny, too, because, like, how are we going to explain this to Pen? Pen's not supposed to know that we're Link. Oh. 
I was just giving a good long thing to the all clucking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree. So what's the story? They were Yiga members. Mm. I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo couldn't yap to save its life, but I didn't suspect this was a Yiga clan trap. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that yeah. one. But at least this will make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in that cuckoo's prophecies, people need to know the truth, or else they'll find they'll fall for more of these lies in the future. Oracles, my tail feathers. Yeah. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess mm -hmm. Zelda. I didn't think making progress would go so smoothly, you know? I guess it helps to have a dedicated partner. Go on and add this to your nest egg. All right. Oh. Tracy has nothing but nice things to say about you. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. Oh, nice. Oh. Anyway, get a load of you, giving us a big scoop and those Yig adults a healthy clobbering all in the same day. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up, and I'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crowing. If I want to meet my deadline, I'd better get back to the office and start writing this up. See you, kid. <laughs> I do really like Penn. I don't think that he's like a replacement for Cass or anything, which... That sort of seems like what's happening because Cass just isn't around. But he's funny. I like him. All right, so we've got a shrine, a Korok, and then a well to explore. But I think that's going to have to wait until next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and come back next time for more. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you got to do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can now join on YouTube and get early access to videos and see members-only community posts. Can't wait to see you there!